Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. For a while now, I've been using Equalizer APO on my PC. And in that time, I discovered a nifty program that also made use of it. Hey Suvi! It's a free program that's able to take a 7.1 surround sound input and convert it in real time into a binaural stereo output for headphones. I tried the old free version of Razer Surround a few years ago, and while I enjoyed it for what it was, that program is both outdated and severely limited. The lack of an EQ in the free version was what made me discover Equalizer APO in the first place. Hesuvi not only has its own EQ, but also a staggering amount of different HRTF profiles to tweak the binaural surround to your liking including profiles from many popular paid surround virtualizers as they call them. And so I tried to install it and was met with so much frustration that I'm making this tutorial right now to show you how to set it up on your PC while showing all the pitfalls that went through to get this to work. I added chapters so you can skip to the parts relevant to your system. First things first, you have to install Equalizer APO the name of which comes from its purpose as a real-time software equalizer and the way it hooks into Windows as an audio processing object, allowing for system-wide equalization. It's both low latency and lightweight on your CPU. I already had it on here to EQ my IEM's CCRAs with Auto EQ, though I suggest you reinstall it or update it to the latest 1.3.2 version as it has a useful feature They'll make the install much more painless. Install it on your main speaker output for now. In my case, it's the Connexent Smart Audio HD. Now, if your sound card supports 7.1 or 5.1 channel output, then congratulations, you just have to install Heisuvi and configure your sound card to output surround sound by default and its sound properties. Now you see, my sound card doesn't support surround sound output. And this is where the frustrations begin. In order for Heisubi to work, it needs to have a surround sound input. So you need to add a virtual sound card if your physical sound card does not support surround sound. Their wiki page on SourceForge shows a few methods, but it's very out of date and obtuse. The three methods shown either add latency, result in glitching artifacts, or have spotty compatibility. The forum post showed using Hi-Fi cable by VB Audio and ASIO for all, but instructions were also obtuse. So I had to scour the internet to find this article that actually makes sense of all of this. And yet problems still arose. I was having the same glitching artifacts and for some reason, Hisuvi didn't work on the virtual sound card. It would work on my normal card in its stereo upmixing mode but not in the virtual sound card, which resulted in only the LNR stereo channels to be outputted into my sound card. My Convolution EQ and Equalizer APO worked, but not Heisuvi. After countless experimental fixes that didn't work, I uninstalled and reinstalled Equalizer APO to the latest version, and finally it worked. After that, it was just a matter of tuning the ASIO settings to remove the last few glitches. So, if your sound card doesn't support surround sound output, first download and install Hi-Fi Cable and ASIO for All, and make them run at startup. In Windows, make Hi-Fi Cable the default output, and additionally, add its input as well for capture. Now, in ASIO Bridge, choose ASIO for All as the ASIO device, and turn on ASIO. Open the ASIO panel, and choose your output card. You'll see 2 in, 2 out in ASIO Bridge, as well as your chosen sample rate and bit depth. The default max latency of 8192 samples and a buffer size of 512 should be perfectly fine to get Heisubi working. Reduce these two settings to decrease the latency even further, or you can increase them if you're having some glitching artifacts. Now, install Heisubi and load up the Equalizer APO Configurator to install it on the virtual sound card. Test it to see if you get all the channels working with Windows' built-in sound test. If you don't hear anything or just the stereo channels, open the configurator again 
and choose the troubleshooting option and the virtual sound card. Test as many combinations as possible to find what works with your sound card. These are the ones that work for me. The latest version of Equalizer APO allows you to use the configurator without having to restart after every setting change, which saves a lot of time. If you are able to get all the channels working, then you're done. Now you can go tweak the ASIO settings and the Hisubi settings to suit your tastes. One other thing that you should install with this is Volume 2, as Windows will only change the volume of Hi-Fi cable and not your sound card. This program fixes it. Install it and configure it to change the volume of your output card and to run it on startup. And now you can use your media keys to change the volume. As you can see from this tutorial, Heisuvi is very much a community effort and with all the things you need to set up and all the ways it can go wrong, it saddens me not to be able to recommend Heisuvi to most people despite how powerful of a program this is. It doesn't have the simplicity and reliability that commercial offerings have. According to some forum posts, Heisuvi could break after a Windows update which means you'd have to install it all over again. And it seems not to be updated as of late, though on that note, Hi-Fi Cable hasn't been updated since 2014. If it ever gets updated, I suggest it should add the ability to install its own virtual sound card to your system if your system doesn't support surround sound output, like how Razer's surround virtualizer works. Now, if you are able to go through the trouble of installing this on your PC, you will be getting what is definitely the best surround virtualizer on the market today. It has some limitations including only supporting surround channels and no height channels, limited sampling rate and bit depth options and so on, and a few issues even outside the installation difficulties but overall it's good, great even, if you can get it working. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.